Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's session, we will look at some of the common errors uh, that you might encounter when uh, working with Jenkins and also some of the questions that you can expect as part of your uh, DevOps interview. Now, the questions that I will be covering, these are some of the very commonly uh, asked questions or some of the very commonly encountered errors that you might see when you're working with your Jenkins. Now, if you are preparing for your DevOps interview or if you're just looking to enhance your troubleshooting skills, then this video is for you. Once again, before I start off with the session, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So the first question we have is what does the Jenkins out of memory error signify and how can you resolve it? So this error basically indicates that uh, uh, Jenkins is out of memory where the, you know it, it has no more memory to uh, basically run any operations that uh, we want to do on Jenkins. So it, it won't be able to run any jobs or it won't be able to do anything basically because it does not have the necessary memory that it needs. So to um, resolve this, uh, we will need to increase the JVM heap size. So for this, we can make use of the environment variable, which is the uh, Jenkins underscore Java underscore options uh, environment variable. Uh, for example, if you want to allocate 2 GB of heap memory, then we can use this hyphen X MX 2 G to basically allocate 2 GB of your heap memory. So simply this error indicates that uh, Jenkins does not have the necessary memory and we will need to uh, uh, increase or we'll need to modify the uh, uh, heap memory size. The next question we have is how do you troubleshoot the Jenkins build is stuck uh, in the queue uh, issue. So this uh, error occurs when uh, Jenkins does not have uh, enough executor. So, um, you know, when we are creating, when we are setting up our Jenkins, we have the option of uh, specifying the executors. You can also set it up at um, a later point. So uh, one of the reasons this error happens is because it does not have uh, sufficient executors. Uh, there might be any logged resources or there might be any builds which are hanging like you know it is not proceeding it is simply uh, stuck so to troubleshoot this we'll need to check if there are uh, executors that are available so if they are not available uh, we can either increase the number of executors or free up the executors uh, review the status of the nodes and then investigate if the resources are uh, logged or you know uh, we have enough resources like any files that are logged or any ports that are logged um, and then finally you know increase the number of executors on the Jenkins instance. The next question we have is what does the permission denied error mean in Jenkins and how can you fix it? So this error basically indicates that Jenkins does not have the necessary permissions. Uh, so maybe Jenkins is trying to access a file uh, or it is trying to access a directory and Jenkins does not have the necessary permissions to uh, do that. So for this, we'll need to basically make sure the Jenkins user. So by default, uh, Jenkins uses the Jenkins user to basically do, uh, take all the actions. So we'll need to check if the Jenkins user has all the necessary permissions uh, or, you know, uh, it has the appropriate file system permissions. And then we, we can uh, adjust the security settings in the Jenkins accordingly. So maybe, you know, give that Jenkins user the necessary permissions so that, you know, it can, it can access those files or the directory. The next question we have is what causes the Jenkins slave agent disconnect error and how can you address it? So this error can be due to network issues. Uh, it could it could be due to any firewall settings or it could be uh, that the JVM has crashed on the agent machine. So maybe the firewall is blocking the traffic or there's some intermittent issue with the network or the JVM itself has crashed. So for this, we'll need to check if uh, we have the uh, network connectivity. Uh, we don't have any firewalls that are blocking the traffic and then uh, review the logs of the JVM to see if there are any crash reports or there's some memory issues uh, that happened um, and uh, uh, why Jenkins uh, you know, was, was not able to work the way we wanted it to work. The next question we have is how do you resolve the Jenkins no valid crumb was included in the request error. So this error occurs when um, there are missing tokens, which is basically the crumbs, or there are invalid uh, CSRF prote uh, protection tokens. So basically, uh, you know, the tokens are missing. So to resolve this, we'll need to basically ensure that 
the request that we are sending has the uh, valid crumb which is basically the token or adjust the csrf protection settings under the configure global security so you know uh, could be due to uh, you know the jenkins was idle for a long time and then when we try to do something the token might have expired or it is no longer valid and that's where we get this error so we'll need to basically regenerate the request with the uh, valid token or the valid crumb the next question we have is what steps would you take to fix the jenkins could not connect to smtp host error so this error indicates that jenkins was not able to connect to the smtp server uh, to basically send out the email notification so smtp we use it for uh, uh, sending out email notifications so for this we need to ensure that the smtp server is uh, reachable like you know there's no network issues or there's no firewall issues uh, verify the smtp host the port configuration the firewall settings you know uh, there's no blocking with the connectivity we need to verify all those things so basically we need to ensure that jenkins is able to talk to the smtp server to send out the notifications the next question we have is what does the jenkins pipeline script returned exit code one error indicate so this error indicates that the script um, returned a non-zero exit code basically the script was uh, not successful and it failed so it indicates that the script failed execution all right so you know this, the script did not execute successfully so to troubleshoot this we'll need to check the logic of the uh, script uh, to see what is happening with the script uh, see if there are any unhandled errors and ensure there are dependencies that are available so whatever the script is looking for the dependencies all those are available uh, why the script is failing are there any unhandled errors or the logic is not right we'll need to review all those things and then fix it and then rerun the script the next question we have is how do you resolve the jenkins failed to connect to the repository error so this error occurs when Jenkins is trying to connect to a version control system. So when it's not able to access to that, uh, when it's not able to connect to that repo, you will get this error. So to fix this, we'll need to ensure that um, the repo URL that we have provided is uh, correct. Uh, we have given the right credentials. Uh, we need to check if Jenkins is able to um, uh, reach the repository. You know, like there's no uh, network settings that's that's blocking the uh, access there's no firewall settings that's blocking the traffic we'll need to review all those things the next question we have is what causes the jenkins build fails due to logged workspace error and how do you resolve it so this error occurs when um, a previous build did not release the workspace lock so every time we run a jenkins job and if there's a workspace associated with it there is a lock uh, that is applied to the workspace and once the job completes uh, the workspace is released so if the workspace was not released we will see this uh, error so any previous build uh, maybe it did not run, uh, complete the execution it was not successful and it did not release the uh, workspace uh, so it could be due to crash or you know manually we intervened and stopped the execution we will see this error so for this we will need to manually unlock the workspace or you know clean up the build directory so that's basically so we'll have to basically go and release the lock so that jenkins can use that workspace to store all the job related information the next question we have is how do you fix the jenkins unsupported major dot minor version error so uh, this error can happen when jenkins is trying to run uh, any code that was compiled on a newer version um, uh, of java than the version of java that your jenkins supports so let's say for example uh, jenkins uh, supports version 11 and the code was compiled using version 17 and jenkins is not yet supporting the version 17 we will uh, see this error so for this uh, we will need to either compile the code with the compatible java version so compile the code with uh, java version 11 or upgrade the jenkins to support the newer version of java so upgrade jenkins to uh, uh, use version 17 java version 17 and then we can compile the code the next question we have is what should you do when facing the jenkins failed to archive artifacts error so this error happens when Jenkins is not able to access the files, um, the files, you know, that um, needs to be um, archived. So when it's not able to find those files or it's not able to access those files, uh, we will see this error. So 
Uh, for this we will need to ensure that the file paths are correct whatever the path we are using that is correct um, the files are existing and jenkins has all the necessary permissions like you know read permissions to read those files uh, we can also check the disk space uh, to see if there's no uh, space issue um, on 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 the server where the files are available we'll need to check all those things the next question we have is what is the cause of the jenkins error cloning repository issue and how can you fix it so this error occurs uh, when again jenkins is not able to talk to the repository like let's say the github repository so we'll need to check if the repo url is correct we are giving the right credentials uh, there's no network issues um, so you know verify the repo url update the credentials um, verify that jenkins is able to access the repo you know that will essentially uh, resolve the issue so basically jenkins is not able to talk to the github repo um and uh, one of the common reason could be you know we are not passing the right credentials or we are not passing the right url the next question we have is how to resolve the jenkins cannot allocate memory error so this error occurs when jenkins or the machines the agent machines are out of uh, memory so for this we will need to um, uh, optimize the jobs to use lesser memory when they are running uh, or increase the uh, system memory, the RAM capacity, or adjust the JVM options to allocate more heap memory so that you know we will not have this memory issues either on the Jenkins machine or on the agent's machine. The next question we have is what does the Jenkins workspace is offline error mean and how do you troubleshoot it? So this error basically indicates that the Jenkins um, agent where the workspace is available uh, uh, is not um, online so basically the Jenkins agent is um, uh, down so uh, it could be one reason is that the Jenkins agent is down or there's some disk uh, space issue on the agent machine so we'll need to check if the agent machine is online you know the status of the machine uh, are, is Jenkins able to connect to that machine um, then check if there's, uh, there's enough disk space on the machine if not then increase the uh, capacity on the machine increase the space on the machine so verify the overall health of the machine. So whether we are Jenkins is able to uh, connect to that machine, we have enough space, all those things needs to be validated. The next question we have is how do you fix the Jenkins plugin failed to load error? So this error occurs when uh, the plugin that we are using is uncompatible or the plugin has become corrupted. All right, so the version of the plugin um, is no longer supported or the plugin itself is uh, corrupt. So uh one thing that we can do is we can update the plugin to the latest version or we can reinstall the plugin we can check the jenkins log to see if there's any specific errors related to the plugins uh, we can also roll back the plugin to a previous stable version that was working fine so uh, one common uh, thing that we generally do is just reinstall the plugin or upgrade the plugin to the latest version which will fix this problem and that brings us to the end of our some of the common um, uh, errors that you can encounter as part of your Jenkins and some of the common questions that you can expect as part of your uh, DevOps interview. Uh, I hope you found this uh, session helpful. If you did, please don't forget to uh, give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel for more content and hit that bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next session.